Hi, I'm Gianna Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography, and this is the place where we talk about macro and landscape photography, post-processing, behind the scenes, equipment, you name it, and we will chat about it. One of the things that I also do is unboxing. So when I get something in the mail, I share it with you, whether it's good or bad. Today, I got a fancier 2400 watt lighting kit, and it comes with three lights with softbox and the stands, the light stands, and a six by nine black and green backdrop for studio. Now I'm doing this because I do these videos for you guys and I use natural light most of the time but I can't always have that. I wanted to share this with you because you may want a nice soft light when you're working in a studio environment for your macro photography. So I wanted to share that with you because it was it's only $149 okay i'm here in my home studio i'm gonna unbox it i have two cameras going don't know how this is gonna work out but let's just go for it and open the package i might have to do this fast oh i like it already it comes in a case okay here we go I'm liking that it comes in a case and I just ripped the case <laughs> okay let me give you a suggestion don't take your knife and go very deep because the case luckily I don't care about the case because I'm not going to use it other than this home studio but if you wanted to take this out, oh my gosh, I ripped it. I'm so pissed. Unless it was already ripped. No, it looks like the middle. Look. I do this. This is not, I don't get anything credit. So I do, this is live, basically. But I do, if I cuss, I'll bleep it out. <laughs> okay, so here's the backdrop. Oh, I get a white one, too. Or this could be part of the softbox. Black. Backdrop, green, don't know if I'll ever use that, but hey, it's good to have for like the price, right? This is probably for the soft boxes. Now I've used soft boxes before, um, but they've been really nice ones. So the, and they're for flash, you know, like strobes. This is continual lighting. So let's open this up, see what it is. Yeah. This is part of this. Oh, this is okay. So then I get a white background. Very cool. And this is part, most likely, that will take, will go on to the softbox. Let's open it up. Yeah, see, there's Velcro. So this will go on the softbox. And the softbox is, let's show you. There's the softbox. And you can see right now that, you know, I haven't read the directions yet, so I'm not positive, but it looks like it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, we'll, we'll set it up. So that's that. And here's the poles to probably put the softbox together. Okay, so that's one softbox. Two softbox. Three, right? We get three here. So that's what this is. Here is one light stand. And like I was saying, yes, it's pretty flimsy, but hey, I don't really care. As long as it holds these lights, I don't care. This is, this is probably, or the stands, so you get stands to, okay, I get it. So you get the stands also looks like to go with the backdrop but we'll see i'm sure that's what part of this is and these are probably the top part is what i'm thinking but i'm just guessing because i haven't looked at the directions and then here's all the bulbs see these so let's just we're pretty much done because these are all bulbs 
one. We'll just open one so you can see them. So here we go. They're supposed to be daylight, but this is one of the bolts, okay? And let's just look and see what this big box is. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, okay, so this is the piece. This is the piece where the lights go in. So you have four lights. Now I did read that if you want less light, you can turn off a light. And that's what's left in this package. Okay, so I'm gonna set it up and we shall see what happens. Okay, everyone, I ended up putting one of the soft box together. I'm returning it. It already has, I know that I had problems when I first opened it, but that doesn't mean that I did this. This is already a rip through the seam of the soft box. So what I'm going to do is take this back. Once I start getting things that are very flimsy and ripping and I can feel that I'm not too happy, I may not get this again. So I want to share this with you guys now to know that it is, it, it looks great on some of the people that have used this, but it's not as strong, I guess, for me. I'm very harsh and hard with my equipment. So I'm unhappy. It already has a tear and some of the the way you put it in, you can see, I'm going to share with you right here, that when you put these poles in, this is very flimsy. I can see in the future that it would, this, this baby's just going to rip right through if you have to take it out, put it back on, take it out, put it back on. So unfortunately, this is going to be an unboxing that, <laughs> my dogs are here, it's going to be an unboxing that I'm not too happy with. That was, for me, this isn't going to work. Um, it's definitely a little... I'm gonna to have to save some pennies and get a little bit better studio lighting. This is for continuous lighting that I wanna use this for. I guess for now, I'm gonna to have to focus on natural light and look for a better video lighting system. If you have a system that you're using, I would love for you to share it in the comment section. I really do want to find a nice, soft, lighting for video but also I would use it for my photography too so but it's continuous lighting that I need and I would really appreciate your help out there again I'm Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography and unfortunately this unboxing was not what I was hoping for but it's okay I'm sharing it with you and hopefully we will find some good lighting for video and for some photography in your studio continuous lighting have a great day. Cheers.